Hey, Vine Community, Jeff here again, just to show a little uh, item that came in this week and tell a little story behind it. Um, fun stuff. I guess, you know, uh, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you've heard me talk and talk and talk about how I monitor my wish list on Amazon and blah, blah, and then I pounce on them when the prices begin to drop. And so, you know, it's not a sh for sure science, so it doesn't always work out in my favor, but most of the time it does. But in this particular case, that, it was just kind of funny because it really kind of didn't. So, first let me show you what I got here. So, this is uh, Star One, Victims of the Modern Age. Um, this is Anthony, what's his name? Arjun Anthony Lacusin. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Great musician, and he pulls together all kinds. He's the one behind Arion, if you're familiar with that. Uh, it's a lot of... Uh, where he does, he puts together these amazing artists and bands and, and multiple singers and puts out like concept albums and, and you know, he used to be in that band Vengeance back in the day from overseas and he's done this for quite a while. So Star One started in 2002 uh, and it was a very cool album. I bought it when it came out. I forgot what drew my attention to it, but I bought it when it came out. And it had a lot of songs that had lots of stories and throwbacks to classic sci-fi movies. There were Star Wars references and stories. And it was very cool. When you're listening to it, you're like, oh, what movie is he talking about now? You know, you could hear storylines and stuff. You're like, oh, that's, you know, that's Star Wars or whatever. So that was really cool. Um, and then, you know, eight years later, 2010, he releases a second one. Now, I haven't stopped to analyze what the storyline is, but anyway, you know what what the, the the theme behind it is. But anyway, so it's got people like um, Floor Jensen from Nightwish and Russell Allen from Symphony X and and Trans Siberian Orchestra, and he's in Symphony, uh, all kinds of different bands. Um, the uh, uh, Damien Wilson from uh, well, these are bands that maybe overseas more popular arena Headspace. Uh, anyway, Tony Martin from Black Sabbath. So lots and lots and lots of different people. And the Arian records are very much the same. Has lots and lots of different singers from different genres. You can see all kinds of different guests there. So this is a 2010 release. This uh, vinyl edition, uh, 2022, I believe. Um, cool. It's on. I mean, this is just on black, but it's a two-record set that also comes with two CDs. So it's got the CDs in here, too. The CDs include the entire album plus five bonus tracks, which is what the second CD is, uh, is the five bonus tracks. Unfortunately, on Amazon, when you buy it and you get the digital download, the digital download only includes the nine album tracks and not the bonus tracks. So you do have to end up ripping it from the CD. But here's the story behind this. So I'm watching this on Amazon. It drops the other day. This is like a upper $30, $40 record, um, inside out records type release, you know, so they, they're, they're typical priced and it's been on my wish list for quite a while. And then all of a sudden I get notification that it drops to like $23. I put it in my shopping cart. Wow. That's a, that's a good drop. But then I'm like, I don't really need it. I take it out of my shopping cart. I don't really need it. I'm trying to be a little more selective. I don't, you know, things get a little tight. So I'm like, I don't need it. It's not, you know, I've got the digital or the CDs of most of these, so I'm trying to be more selective. I don't need that on bottom. Take it out of my cart. Let's forget about it. Delete the email. A few days later, it drops down to $20. I'm like, yeah, delete. It's two records set. Two records and two CDs for $20. I don't know, Jeff. No, Jeff, stop it. Don't do it. No. Delete. A couple of days later, $18. All right, Jeff must have been on one of those weird days because Jeff throws it in his cart and buys it. So I got it for $18, which I thought was a steal for a double record set with two CDs. So I went ahead and did it. And then it comes in the mail, and I get an email that day from Amazon, $16. So it's probably still at $16 when I make this video. Haven't seen an update. If it goes down any further, then I guess it's even more of a kick myself. But still, I mean, you know, 18 was a great deal. 16 is a better deal. But yeah, so sometimes you, because you never know. If you wait that extra day, the 18 could all of a sudden become 30 again. So that's a chance you take. You never know what they're going to do. Now, the, so the band Star One, they did a 2002 record. They did a 2010 record. And then they did one, uh, Revel in Time, in 2022. So they've got three albums out, plus a live album back in 23, 2003. 
Um, so they've done three albums. Well, now the Revel in Time album, just today as I'm making, before I made this video, I get an email about that one that it has dropped down now to like $24. So I'm going to keep my eye on that one because that would be nice to have. Uh, and then the, the initial album is still up in the upper 30s, $38, $39. Uh, so if that ever drops. But, you know, I thought I would fight the urge and not buy it. And I held off for a couple, for more than a week and more than a couple price changes. But I ended up ultimately getting it. And it's just, if you're not familiar with this music, it's very, you know, very melodic. But um, heavy guitars and stuff. So it's like melodic metal of yesteryear. Great stuff and great writing and... You know, lots of different singers and stuff. So, fun things. Anyway, check it out. I really enjoyed the stuff he's done between this and Arion. I don't have as many of their Arion vinyl records either. So, you know, that's another era, area. He's done quite a few on that ties, that side. So, just great stuff. There you go. Uh, fun. Check it out. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, keep an eye on Amazon because their prices are fluctuating. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.